Well, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Dookie Forge, where we forge through the filth of this world to find the golden nuggets of other crap. Uh, I can't say I'm searching for golden nuggets. I still make mostly crap right now. But in this episode, we're going to make some more crap. And, uh, but it's going to be another thing I never made before and I don't know how to make. And I have uh, not very many instructions, or not any instructions, but it is a texturing tool. I don't know what they're actually called, but it's essentially like a die, a piece of metal with like a texture on it that you hammer into the you know, hot steel and it puts you know, a pattern on it. Um, what I'm looking to make is a basic one, one with just kind of, you know, not straight lines, but just lines um, down the length of it. And, uh, and that's, that's what I'm looking to, uh, to do. I don't have any tool steel, which is unfortunate. Um, but I do have some mild steel, which is what I'm going to use. I know, I know it won't last long, the tool itself. Um, but, you know, I'm just going to go with what I got right now. And uh, here's the piece I'm going to be using. It is one of the off cuts from the guillotine tool when I was making the guillotine tool. So I'm going to uh, chop off this, this section here, roughly, and I'm gonna you know, leave this, say this section relatively square uh, for the, the tool, and then I'm gonna make a handle out of this section. At least that's the idea. So let's do it. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is square it up a little bit, just clean up, hey, just clean up the edges just a little bit, um, and then isolate where the handle is, and then start stretching out the handle. I'm thinking the, the actual texturing side should have like a chamfer on two sides and then a little flat, so that's where I'll put in the uh, texture marks, I suppose. Um, or whatever, I, I don't know if that makes sense, but then I'll, I'll make a handle, uh, hopefully, that's the idea. So that's the order of operations that I'm gonna try to do, and we'll see what happens.
quite a bit smoother than I was expecting. Actually, this was, uh, I would say, the first project where I had a little bit, of, well, considerably more steel to move. And this is going to be the handle, well, is the handle. And then this will be the texture plate area, at least that's the idea. Um, I am going to do a little bit of hand filing just to clean it up a little bit and then um, heat it up and do uh, a finish on it and then uh, I guess use an angle grinder to put some lines in here and then see what it works, so see what it looks like and test it out on a little piece of steel. Well, I, uh, I did a little hand filing cleaned up the handle a little bit. Right now I'm just heating up the handle and I'm just gonna twist it a little bit to uh, straighten it out. Uh, it's just a tad bit off. Well, everything's a little bit off, but uh, we're just gonna straighten it out real quick. And then um, right now I'm at the stage where, uh, after that, oh, after that I'm at the stage where I don't exactly know what I'm doing next. I kind of had an idea of the shape I wanted and um, you know uh, the texturing pattern or whatever is going to be basically a bunch of lines and that's about it. I'm going to take the angle grinder and just kind of carve in some lines. Um, but as far as um, what the next step is, I don't know actually. Do I just start carving in some lines with the angle grinder and just I guess hope that it looks good. Uh, I guess so. I mean, there's really not much else to it. I guess I should, instead of having a square bottom, I guess I should round the, um, the bottom profile and then put some lines in it so that the square outline doesn't um, put you know squares in whenever I put the pattern in. Uh, so it doesn't look like a stamp. I suppose. think is beautiful. Like I always say, you know, nothing I make is perfect and everything I make can be uh, made better. That is for sure. But you know what? For my first tool, whether it works or not, I am pretty happy. I will be pretty disappointed if the thing doesn't work. But this is my first tool. I mean, Ken's, uh, Ken's custom iron tongs, I guess, count, but those are kind of, you know, they, they help you along the way a lot with the pre-cut blanks and all that, and the instructions and stuff like that. Even then I mess it up. But this one was just out of my head. It's for another project coming up. I'm hoping this works. Um, I, I really like the way it looks. I guarantee it. And, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna round these and then angle grinder, put some lines in. I'm kind of scared to do that because, uh, you know, that could just ruin the whole tool. But, um, well, I gotta, I gotta put them in. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'll probably put it in the forge uh, just to heat it up and I'll probably, uh, 
you know, smooth it out a little bit. But, um, and then I, I'm gonna put a finish on it at the very end. So hopefully for you guys and gals, probably no gals, it'd be nice if there were some ladies watching. You know, if there is one lady out there, get another lady to watch. That's all I'm saying, this is cool stuff. Uh, but anyway, uh, so for you guys, um, yeah, it should go pretty quick to the end. And then we're, um, I'm gonna put a finish on it and I might not actually test it today <laughs> because I'm so scared it won't work that I just wanna bask in the glory of actually making something uh, for a, a night and then I'll test it maybe tomorrow. <laughs> So I don't get disappointed right away. Uh, and maybe that'll be off camera, because I, I don't know if I want to film that. I'll probably cry. But the tool, look at that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Well, I sat on it for a few days. I did a little bit of research trying to figure out if I could learn anything about other like patterning tools. Um, I think I'm just gonna slice some lines in it and uh, try to make them, you know, angular with the, some hand files. And um, that's it. So I have this guy, the tool, which is awesome. Hope I just, you know, hope I don't ruin it, but I'm just gonna draw, you know, three or four lines on here, take the hacksaw, cut some slots and then take a hand file and um, you know just sharpen them up to kind of a somewhat chiseled tips and so they kind of cut in lines as I hit and uh, that's that's what I'm I, well, I'm gonna do that and I hope it works
Well, we're out here at the uh, main part of the barn to do a little wrap up. So the feathering tool is finished right here. Well, I don't know what to call it, the patterning tool. It's just a bunch of straight, well, relatively straight grooves. Not too sharp, but they come to a point. And uh, originally they kind of were fat, and you can see that in the, the knock marks here. And they just weren't quite what I wanted. And this is what they look like now, which is really nice. I think they, I think it'll work for the project I wanna do. So with that, this short, nice little episode, making it made my first tool that seems to work um, and all that stuff. So I'd consider this a success. So I will leave you with this episode's quote.